Hey, that's me, Sarah. And there's me. I'm Audrey. So we got this folder from the courthouse, I think. Is this where we got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Um, and it's supposed to have all the haunted places in like Nicholasville. There's not that many, it looks like. But we're going to pull out the first paper. <laughs> well, it's upside down. <laughs> what is this one? Uh, this one is West Jasmine High School. Okay. So, so we're going to explore what we can find on the internet about the haunted things that are happening at West Jasmine High School and then later we're gonna call and see if we can come visit. Yeah, because there's only look one, around. There's only one page for West Jasmine. All the other ones have like see like this is all from one place. So we're gonna see if we can find more. So, let's see, about West Jasmine High School, principal message, it has nothing about the secure, or the ghost, but let's see, what the principal has to say, blah, 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 about the school year, well, the principal's name is Thornton, Mr. Thornton, what an interesting name, okay. So, Mr. Thornton is who we'll call later, right? Yeah, but later. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to West Jasmine High School Haunted. Oh, it's one of their top searches. <laughs> yeah, this one's... Let's see. USA Today. Isn't that a known... Uh... Yeah, it's a pretty known website. So it says here that... West has a long reputation of being haunted. Oh, students claim that lockers open and close on their own. They pull self-start. Strong waves of perfume. Surround the rooms, wow. Flying trash cans. Oh, wow. The football field's lights turn on and off. Wow. Humming and women dressed in red walk the hallways. See, there's probably an explanation for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, it's probably just like little kids like staying after dark turning like, or like janitors or something, or teachers walking around. Okay, well I say we call it a day and call it tomorrow. Call it tomorrow. It's past school time, way past school time. So, I have definitely heard 
several stories about the hauntings of West Chestnut High School. Um, is there any possible way for us to come and like see if any of those things are true? Yeah, you guys are welcome to come check it out, and I would I would love to know if there's some evidence of, of a haunting so that we can deal with that properly. But you're you're welcome to come um, look over the school and see what you can find. I would just ask you to be careful because if it is haunted, there's no telling what can happen. Okay, we'll we'll do. Okay. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. student parking and this is like guest. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Hmm. We're going to go here. It really doesn't look creepy. Like, it's apparently old. It doesn't look that old either. Do you think they've had, like, renovations? Maybe. This week, so be really selective yeah. about your doors, okay? Did you, Thank you. Did you need a dog? Nope, no, nope. someone dropped one off. I have to do it. Well, Loretta heard right then, but the rest of us are wrong. <laughs> yeah, she knows what's going on. Oh, this is like their uh, renovation stuff. So they have re renovated, yeah, so it yeah, good, does good. look newer. Oh, because of a tornado repair. 1995. Wow. I wonder what it does. Not that. Did you just put on perfume or something? No. Man, it's like a strong rose scent. I thought it was your perfume. Well, didn't they talk about smelling a rose scent? And that was like some old lady that haunted the school? Wasn't it three witches? Yeah. And they got burnt, or uh, what was it, torched or something? Yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, Lord, Lord gonna keep walking. A little faster. Apparently, this hallway is the one that a kid hung himself in. Kind of creepy. Yeah. That might be, um, I don't know, there's no words to explain. Have you seen any of the, like, paranormal stuff? No, I have not. I've been here different hours of the night, never seen anything. Only thing's really scared me. I turn the corner up there at the graduation gown, it'll fall out on me. But other than that, I've not seen nothing here. Do you have any ghost stories about the high school? I do. So my junior year, when I was here back in 2009, 
Um, me and a couple friends after a band competition, we got back around 11.30 p.m. And we decided that we wanted to go on a ghost adventure. We had done it quite a few times, no results. So we we're like, you know what, let's go one more time. We're gonna, and this is gonna be for real. And so what we did, we went up to the English hallway. There's that little atrium area. And we basically just sat with our backs. We sat on the ground with our backs facing towards the English hallway. Um, and we sat there for probably a good 20 minutes. No sounds, nothing. And I don't know what uh, stories you all know is, are kind of infamous for West, but we heard what sounded like three little girls laughing down the hallway. And there were a couple younger kids we had in the band, but I mean, it was 11.30 at night, and we didn't think that they were up there. So we, we looked around, didn't hear anything else. We, the second we peeked around the hall, it was like dead silent. We're like, okay, this is kind of freaky. And, then, and then right, literally, the second we started walking back down, we're, like, we're all kind of freaking out. You know, the elevator, there's only one way to operate the elevator. It's with the key. Nobody had the key. The elevator upstairs. Ding, opened up, went downstairs. And that was the moment where we were completely freaked out. So that's, that's my one kind of ghost story, I guess you could say. <laughs> This is the English Hall. So he said they were sitting between the English Hall and that hall. So this is where they were sitting. So just crisscross off the sauce, like here. Facing, they had their backs facing? Do you remember if they had their backs facing? Which direction? I don't remember. I think he said they had their backs facing. They were looking at the English Hall. Yeah. So yeah, so they would be like sitting like here. Here. Just crisscross up the sauce here. Do you have any ghost stories for West? Okay, so one thing that like, I don't believe in ghosts at all. I think it's like stupid. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I was here, so I'm in marching band, and after marching band, like competitions, it's usually like 2 or 3 a.m., and we went on a little ghost hunts, as Mr. Pyatt would say, and so at three, it was like 3 a.m., and me and one of my friends, I was like teaching her to practice and stuff, and I went into the little section to put my stuff away, and something was thrown at me. And I thought she was just messing around because she was like outside the door, like of the band room. So here's like the band room. She's like way out here. I was like way in here. I was like, oh, she's just messing with me because we were talking about the ghost stories. And then a couple days later, we talked about it and she was like genuinely terrified because she was like, I didn't do anything like that. And I like literally like something was like flung at my face. And it was honestly kind of scary. Like I thought she was just messing with me and she accidentally like threw it too hard or something. Like this. There are artifacts that are in the far back of the library in a display case. There is a there's another talk about um, you know there's this there is the burial ground right down here at the where the football field the football facility is kind of centered around. The story says that they like to come up to the gate right up here at night and just watch. Um, there was one night that we thought we had seen it, but it wasn't for sure, and so that's, it's not, that's not a 100% proven thing that I've seen, but I thought I did one time in high school as well. So we've been told that the football field is over here, and that's where the mass grave was. Yeah. Wait, what's the, um, what was the disease that it was? It was some plague, plague. the black plague or something, where, where a bunch of bodies were buried. The cemetery is also over here. Where the family? The yeah, where the family of the White House that's, that was in that the gym. So, so the cemetery looks very run down right now. That's probably why the ghosts are been haunting them. They did not take They don't. <laughs> kind of mad. It's a little like run down and stuff. This is the football field where the bodies were apparently buried. 
I'm not gonna go over there right now because they're kind of working, but yeah. yeah. They're redoing it to make a multi-purpose pier. Yeah. So we've been walking around for a couple hours. We've talked to many teachers. Um, some have like really detailed stories of like what they've seen and stuff, and others they're just like, mm, no, <laughs> nothing happened to me. So kind of still up in the air about this ghost. that's already open. We'll put my phone in there and then we can see like if the rumors that the yeah. locker is open and closing are true. Here, I'll record some here. There we go. Peace. Okay, here. We'll go back this way and we'll come back later and then see my phone. Okay. Um. Did I sh that? I thought I had yeah, You definitely left that okay. open. Um. That's awkward. It like won't even open now. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. My phone turned off and everything. <laughs> so we didn't really find that much and like teachers didn't really have any like stories to actually tell us and we stood or we hung around the school for like a long time i don't even know how long it was we were there a couple days yeah it, and like we didn't really say anything but we did find out like there's lockers that shut and we don't know if it's just the wind or anything but we got the heck out of dodge after that happened and like my phone just turned off like randomly and like we don't know how that happened so we just we're, we were out. Yeah. So we weren't dealing with that. I guess that concludes our documentary yeah. about West Farland. Not going to do any more haunted yeah. documentaries ever again. We're not for this paranormal stuff. Not us. Nope. We're out. Yeah. No, no.